So, Words of Union just got the T14 update. With that, we got the T14, daily rewards, and a ton of other stuff, being some guns and more vehicles. But the question that I'm asking is, the T90 or the T14 better? So, for context, the T90 was before the T14, and, well, it is two machine guns versus the T14's explosive machine gun. And the T90 and T14 also have just a, quite a few other differences. But what one of these tanks would be the best? The T90 or the T14? We're not including anything else like the Abrams X because we're not comparing that. We're comparing the T90 to the T14. So let's test this with a basic damage test first. So here I have a Super Stallion. And then here I have a T14. And over here we have a T90. And soon you're going to see how much more damage the T14 does than the T90. Which for context... It's not too much as long as in a short duration. So, we're just kind of destroying this. I really hope I'm putting the numbers, the seconds, there in the um the video. So, um, there we go. Super Stallion down. I don't know how long that took. That should have took about nine or so seconds, I believe. No idea. And then now we're going to blow this up. Yeah. As you probably are seeing now, the T90 does do a lot less damage with the machine guns. And boom. That probably took about, I'd say, 15 seconds. <laughs> Tell them that's good. Alright, so that is the difference between them and, well, their damage. As you may see, T14 Armada does do a lot more damage. So now, I'm just going to drive this around real quick. And hit there at its max speed. So it goes some 40 miles per hour in speed. And then 35 on turns. So it's not that slow of a vehicle. But it is definitely pretty slow. It beats most of the tanks. I don't know why this is damaged. One of them damaged it though. So here we're going to... What? Well I'm going to go chase this down. So as you may see this goes 45 miles per hour. And 40 on turns. So it's slightly slower by 5 miles, or the T90 is slower by 5 miles per hour. So as of now, the T90 is losing both damage and speed, but speed doesn't matter that much. Uh, we also have the run over test. Does not run over that good. Very sad, very disappointing. I would do it with a T90, except it's gone. So I'm going to go see if this man has a tank crate yet. No. So I'm going to go get an explosive sniper, and I'm going to see if there's a difference between them. Actually, I'm going to go get a javelin. I'm going to javelin each of them once and see if there's a difference. So we're going to do the durability test next. So here I am at the base with the T90 and the T14. And, well, I did repair my T14 by just getting a new one. So now we're going to be checking out their HP. So these are both at 100%. So let's test the RPG on both of them. So there we go. RPG on the T14. And now we're just going to reload the RPG. It's going to take like a few hours. Not that long. Then hit with the T90. So the T14 is left on 78%. So the RPG does just around 20%. And then this one is left at 67%. So while the RPG did 22% to him, it did uh, like 33 to this guy right here. So that is a lot of damage. I'm not sure, but I think the damages are randomized quite a bit. So... It might be a bit random. So the Javelin did a lot of damage. So this guy was at 78% last. So quite a lot of damage. This man is at 67%. So we're going to see how much damage that does. So from 78 to 49, that is some um, 38% or so. So 38% for Javelin here. And the, this guy was on 67%. So wow. Um... 33% or so, or just around 33% or 32 I believe, for him. Not sure how much, but it seems like the Armada might have more HP. Well, not have more HP. It actually, no, yes, it might have more HP. There is one more test, though, which we will be testing, besides that random joke test I made about running people over. Um, We have the length test, or the target test. So how easy is this tank going to be able to be hit compared to the other tank? Um, I don't know what that was, but that shouldn't affect it too much. What if I bump it again? 
I think there's a bug in the game. To be honest, I think there's a bug. I'm not sure what, though. Uh, as you may see, the T90 is a much larger target, as you may see. Um, no, but generally, the T14 does seem to be a bit longer, so it's a bigger target if you want to play like that. But um, something I didn't take into account, necessarily, because the T14, as of now, has won everything. It is 100% better than the T90. The T90 has laser eyes. Or, I mean, I miss all the flexors, not laser eyes. I just kind of like calling them that. So these things can deflect javelins. They can deflect javelins and, well, javelins from tanks. Um, also missiles, if you do it right. Bradley missiles, too. So that's something this tank doesn't actually have, I guess. So, yeah. I've come to the conclusion that the T-14 generally is better unless you're going to fight people who have a lot of javelins or a few Abrams X's, I'd say, to be honest. T-14, better damage, better speed. Also, if you're wondering why I didn't use the 125mm or the cannon, the main cannon for the test for damage, it's because they have the same exact cannon, so there's no difference, actually. So... Well, I mean, it seems like the T-14 is better than the T-90. T-90 does have missile deflectors, but both tanks have smoke, so you could still smoke. But if there's javelin spammers, T-90 would be better. So, yeah. Bye. Uh, subscribe, also, because I, I want subscribers. I want more.